crafty peeps, let's get crafting. I picked up this yellow wood piece from Joann's and I got it on clearance last year. I try to always pick up something um, at the end of the season that I think I'll use the next year. Um, but still, it's not very expensive and Joann's has the best coupons. So I'm using this wave, wave you guys, maze, maze yellow paint from Waverly. And then I'll use um, just a regular white chalk paint for the other areas. Once it's painted, I'm gonna take this sign from Dollar Tree, and I like the look of it on its own. It's a really cute sign. But I'm also gonna take this lemon paper that I got off scrapbook.com, and then I'm gonna use some of this greenery from Dollar Tree that is like a vine. And then this little printable that I printed off onto off my printer from a Google image. So with this sign, I'm just going to pop off the home here. And I love, the like wooden almost like a wooden fence look to it so i'm not going to fully cover it so i'm going to take this paper and just cut it down just enough to cover the image that was already there And using my tape runner here, my double stick tape runner, is how I will adhere it down onto the sign. Now I'm gonna place my lemon and then place this uh, vine around it, and I'm just gonna play around here. I decide that because the leaves all go in different directions and I don't like how they're sitting, I'm gonna take them off and then place them back down and glue them so they're in the position that I want them to be in.
Once that's glued down, I'm going to take this um, graphic here that I had gotten off of Google Images and I'm going to layer it down onto this coaster. This is just like a chipboard, cardboardy coaster. <laughs> and then I will cut it to size. And since the sign is distressed, I decide to just kind of ink around um, this little graphic as well. And then I will attach it to the sign. I felt like it needed one more final touch and so I'm going to put some of this buffalo check ribbon just around the bottom with a simple little bow. And I picked this up at Michael's and it was actually in their Christmas uh, clearance I do believe. So um, that is where I got that but I know you can get this um, year round at Hobby Lobby in their ribbon section possibly Walmart too. But that's it for this sign. I just love all the textures and dimensions in it and it was super easy to make. Okay now, talk about a simple project, but I'm trying to throw in some more simple projects because simplicity isn't the worst thing, especially when you have just a bunch of really like, um, just big decor items. So sometimes you just need a little piece of simple to go with it. So I got this placemat at Hobby Lobby and the charger is from Dollar Tree and this piece of calendar is also from Dollar Tree. And so I'm just cutting a quick circle, don't worry about it if it's straight, because I'm going to go back in and just kind of give it a uh, cut down to the leaf size. Now I'm not super, um, I'm not cutting close to the actual image, I'm leaving like a white spot, and that leaves more um, ability to not have it precise. That's the way I want it. It's not totally have to be precise. It's just giving and give this some texture and then you don't have to worry about it being perfectly round. And I just think it looks really good this way. So I'm just quickly going around and snipping, as you see, in between the leaves and the lemons. Then I just Mod Podge this onto the charger, and then I glue that placemat to the back of the charger, and that's it, and it's so pretty. I love this. I think that placemat I mean, I just don't think it could have been more perfect. It's like the exact same. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm stumbling on my words. It's the exact same shade of yellow. And I actually got that last year on clearance, that yellow placemat. So I probably only paid like maybe 50 to 75 cents for it. So this is a very inexpensive project. I have seen these chargers in the store recently at Dollar Tree. So I hope you put your hands on some. That's it for this project. Very simple, but I think it looks really good.
This is another simple sign makeover. I'm using this home sign from Dollar Tree and I paint it white as you see here. I just took the, I didn't make you watch me paint it white, but that's all I did was paint it white. And then I cut this lemonade word out on my Cricut and the font is Bailey and I got it from defont.com. So I'll go ahead and I will stick this final shape down. This is my current favorite font. Um, I got it from Christina at Christina Elizabeth um, Crafts. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. She um, has this font she uses and I was like, where is that font from? I need it. And so freeondefont.com and it's called Bailey and I'll link that down below. And even though, so I've been a Cricut user you guys, like literally since it came out, and it came out in like 2003, but I always use it with paper. And so I'm just now getting a little bit better with the vinyl, but I still, fuck a lot, I struggle a little bit. And I think it's because I'm so used to it cutting out paper and then me just like gluing paper down. So anyhow, so I'm just gonna get this nice and straight. And the way I did it is because it has those two grooves, I lined the bottom of my E loops. So that's how I knew it was straight. So there's a little tip for you if you can use um, the lines already on the sign. And as per usual, you see my big blonde mom bun in this shot because I have to lean over to make sure everything looks even. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that down and peel it off. And then you'll see up in the corner there, I have my Sharpie marker. And that's because I want to make a border around this sign. And I debated doing it in vinyl, and I'm glad I did it because I think it was much easier doing it with the Sharpie marker. So I grabbed my metal ruler. Oh, here, yeah, I don't know why, but my M folded over for some weird reason, so I'm fixing that right here. <laughs> Okay, so sometimes I measure, sometimes I don't. I felt like this one, I was close enough to be able to eyeball it. But I did go one inch from each side and draw my line. And so, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cute little half circle on the corners. So I will go ahead and, like I said, I'm gonna do an inch from each corner. And then just a half circle. See how easy that is? It gives it that kind of ticket look. And there you go. See, super easy. And now I wanted to make it look a little more distressed. So I'm going to take some of my Rust-Oleum white chalk paint that I painted this originally in. And I will use just my little dry brush to go over it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take this stem from Joann's, and again, I bought this on clearance last year. You're going to find that I buy a lot of stuff on clearance. But anyhow, um, I love it. If you saw my last video, I used it in that video as well. Okay, and then I will just attach it down to the sign. I do need to cut it a little bit because the stem is a little bit too long. But the nice thing about this is I can glue each little piece into place so that it looks great. So each leaf, each lemon, and these lemons are not hollow. They're a little bit more dense. So I have to make sure it's glued on really well because I don't want it to fall off. And the last step is just adding a little bow. I think it's necessary to cover up where the glue is. So this is just some white and black ribbon that I also got from Michaels in their Christmas clearance. And I really like it. It's definitely not seasonal. And I always look for non-seasonal items and seasonal clearances. I hope that makes sense. So like there'll be burlap and Easter and, and Christmas and it, 
and you know, they'll heavily discount it because it has a Christmas label. So if you're walking past that seasonal decor clearance, don't walk past it. Walk into it. See if there's something you can use that's non-seasonal or maybe something that you can easily paint over and make something fabulous out of. I do that a lot. That is how I get a lot of the things that I make over. And that's it for this project. As you can see, it's very simple, but it's such a classy looking sign. I just love it. This is my step outside of my comfort zone project but it is very easy. So I took a Dollar Tree sign and I just sketched the shape of a lemon. And it's not great, that's okay. Lemons are not, thankfully, perfect rounds like oranges. They're very odd shaped. So I just kind of sketched it out. Then I'm gonna use my jigsaw, jigsaw, that's hard to say, jigsaw, to cut it out. I've practiced a little bit with the jigsaw, but this is my first real project using the jigsaw. And I was very intimidated, and I will tell you it was super easy. And it took me under a minute to cut this lemon out. Okay, so now if you are proficient in using a jigsaw, you're probably cringing. You're like, no, no, that's not how you do it. Totally give me uh, tips in the comments. I will take them happily. <laughs> so I think I might not have the right blade. I'm not sure. It's just the blade it came with. And I know that when I use it on a thicker piece of wood, it is not going well. But it went much better on here. And then you'll see that it's kind of, because this is like a particle board, cardboard, wood, I don't know what it what this is, but you know the Dollar Tree signs. It really, it needed to be sanded, as you can see, but it sanded up really nicely. Look at it, this is what it looks like. I just barely sanded the edges and they look great. So I'm gonna use that maize paint again that I used earlier in the projects. Now, I like to make the smallest mess possible. So if I don't have to put paint in a container to paint from, I won't. And so in this particular sense, I had a big area to fill, so I just pour the paint straight down on it. And I'm just gonna cover this, and it took about two coats. And once that second coat is dry, I'll go ahead and put my transfer down. And again, this is the Bailey font from dafont.com. And then the printed one is also I want to say it's DJ Bailey. If you type in Bailey, these both these fonts pop up. And so that's what I used here. It's two different Bailey fonts. And once I get that down, I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and I'm just going to make little dashes. And it's just to give it a little extra. It's not really meant to be like a sewing edge, but you know, just to give it that extra little cuteness. I felt like my lemon needed some leaves. I was looking for some big artificial ones in my stash, but I didn't have any that were big enough. They all looked kind of weird. So I just grabbed a piece of patterned green scrapbook paper for my stash, and I'm gonna cut two leaves out of this. What I like about this one is it's double-sided paper. So one has like a green swirly, like you see here, and the other side is like a green stripe. So I just add that to the project and it's done. Another simple project. If you know me, you know that my seasonal decor is not complete if I don't have a gnome. <laughs> and so I picked this sign up from Dollar Tree, and when I took it out of this like wrapper that it came in, like 
the frame wasn't even attached, so that made my job easy. So I printed out a gnome from Cricut Design Space, and I found one that was an Easter egg, like the gnome was holding an Easter egg. And so I thought, hey, I can make that Easter egg look like a lemon. And so that is what I'm doing here. So I took just this yellow strip of cardstock, and that's what's gonna cover where it says kitchens are made for families to gather. I'm gonna cover it with this yellow piece of paper, and then I'll add the frame on top. So I'm new to layering with vinyl. I do know there's some easier ways to match it up, but this one was super easy to match up. The pieces are pretty bold and you can tell where they go. Where they go. So I just start putting the layers down. Now I'm just gonna take my tape runner and adhere it down to the sign and add the frame back to it. The sign's a little bit plain, so it's definitely going to need a bow. Uh, another clearance ribbon, you guys. This one was a clearance St. Patrick's Day ribbon, and I got it for 49 cents, so woohoo! And then some of the Dollar Tree lemon uh, ribbon as well, and then I'll just add that to the top corner. It really helps bring the image out, and with the lemon ribbon, then you really understand what he's holding, because it does still kind of look like it could be an Easter egg, <laughs> but um, hopefully it looks enough like a lemon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am I love making lemon decor. It's just so cheery and happy. I have some videos from last year as well as my last up, upload was also lemons. So if you like this video, I sure hope you'll give it a thumbs up and a share. And I hope you'll stay around and hit that subscribe button. Also, I am over on Instagram, and I'd love to see you over there. I share a lot more, so you will for sure Get your money's worth because Instagram's free, but you know what I mean. So my, my name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. Until next time, happy crafting.